Hey folks, this is Ben from Road to VR here at Virtuix and talking with Jan to learn about their latest omnidirectional treadmill. Jan, for those who don't know what an omnidirectional treadmill is, fill us in. Yeah, this is the Omni, which is an omnidirectional treadmill. It's a platform that lets you walk and run around in 360 degrees inside virtual reality games and other applications. And this is the Omni One, which is brand new essentially, not even really going out the door just yet. Um, you used to have the, you had the Omni Pro, but this is new and this is for in-home. So what's the big difference between the Pro and the new Omni One? Yeah, Omni One is our first Omni designed for the home, for consumers. Uh, the biggest difference is that you have more freedom of movement, where Omni Pro has a support ring that keeps you in place. Mm -hmm. Omni One lets you crouch, kneel, jump, so you have much more freedom to move around. And it's also optimized for, for home use. It has a nice fabric finish. Uh, you can put it together or disassemble it in just a minute or so, no tools needed. Mm -hmm. It has wheels so you can move it around. So really optimized to, to put, put in your house and use at home. Mm -hmm. The Omni Arena, which has the pros in it, is what people might see in uh, a big VR arcade or VR attraction or a, a Dave & Buster's. People going into there are coming in for five or 10 minutes of fun. How do you expect people to use uh, the Omni One differently than that? Yeah, in the Omni Arena, it's a, an, an arcade experience, so five to ten minutes or so is, is sufficient. Uh, Omni One is a, is a home product. Uh, now, it is physical. One of the key benefits of the Omni One, or the Omni in general, is that you burn calories while playing, while playing video games. Uh, so we don't think people will do it for hours on end. It is taxing. You are physically uh, active. So we think, on average, we see people using it for half an hour or so, play a game or two, get really into it, mm -hmm. and at the same time get, get some exercise in. Yeah. And so, uh, speaking of games, what is the content like? I mean, first of all, I guess we should talk about what headset people are going to be using when they get this. Yeah, Omni One is a complete system, meaning that it ships with its own headset. The, right now, the Pico Neo 3 Pro, optimized for us. So when you put on the headset, it shows Virtuix. It has our software on it, our game store. Uh, it's a complete system. It's not a closed system. You can still hook it up to a PC and play PC-based VR games mm -hmm. with a PC-compatible headset. You can do that, too. So we don't close it off, mm -hmm. but it does come with its own headset and its own game store uh, uh, on, 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 on that headset. Mm -hmm. and, and with that headset that it comes with, you can even tether that to a PC if you wanted to, and you have emulation software that would adapt to existing VR games? That's right, yeah, we have emulation software on, on the PC, so you can still hook up Omni One to a PC mm -hmm. and play with a PC compatible headset, which could be even be the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which you can also connect to a PC, so you can do that as well. But we do offer it as a complete system, uh, because we do find it to be uh, an even better user experience if everything just works out of the box, one big button, you just push it, and everything is just streamlined and, and seamlessly integrated. Yeah, so from a content standpoint, you have your own store. Uh, what kind of games do people expect to be able to find on this? Yeah, we haven't announced our launch shadow lineup just yet. We, ha we aim to do that by the end of the year and have about 30 titles or so announced by the end of this year. Uh, we have some of our own first-party games, of course, some of the Omni Arena games that we're bringing to the system, Dead Zone, Elite Force. And then we're working with a ton of third-party developers also to bring their game to our system. Any game that can benefit from moving around physically and naturally inside that VR game, that's just a great fit for our system. So those are the games we're, we're targeting. So you said this is, you know, kind of taxing. It is a bit of exercise. Where would you see people put this in their homes? In an exercise room or what? Uh, it, it depends. We've asked this question many times to our customers. Where would you put it? Where will you put it? And the answers vary from my living room to my bedroom, my game room, uh, my basement, my man cave, my exercise room. So it really depends on, on the customer and where they have space for it. You don't need that much space. The base is four feet in diameter. Maybe you need about six feet or so uh, to provide space for your arms swinging around. So it, it's about the size of a, of a regular treadmill, let's say. Mm -hmm. And it's got wheels to move it around easily, right? That's right. It has wheels, so you can lift it up, move it around easily. You can uh, disassemble it easily. Again, optimized for consumers, for home use, so as little hassle as possible to uh, store it, keep it, uh, move it around. Yeah. yeah. And so on this one, you moved from the, the ring around to the arm in the back. What is the major reason to have that drastic design change? Yeah, the major reason is the ad additional freedom of movement. So now you can crouch, kneel, jump. You can't do that with the Omni Pro. With the Omni One arm, you have so 
much freedom of movement, it's a really neat experience. Mm -hmm. Is it adaptable for all people? Are there different sizes? Um, maybe talk a little bit about the, the shoes as well. Yep, yep. So Omni One goes from anywhere for kids, five foot two, five foot four, all the way up to adults, six foot four or so, uh, 250 pounds, uh, so all sizes. It ships with overshoes that you slide over your existing shoes, small, medium, and large, just three sizes, again, uh, covering all the ranges of shoe sizes. Mm -hmm. So we have this, uh, an Omni One can fit both a kid mm -hmm. and, and a, a, big, a big adult, mm -hmm. if you will, yeah. I understand you're taking crowdfunding investment as well. How does that work? What, what's going on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's part of our Series B financing. With any financing round we do, uh, we always have a part that is open to the crowd, our community, our fans. We have over 300,000 registered players. Uh, over 35,000 people have indicated they want to get notified when they can buy an Omni One. So we have this big community of fans and of players. And, and so we always open up our financing rounds to our, our community. And same with our Series B round. So if you want to become a shareholder in Virtuix alongside big name investors like Mark Cuban, big VC funds, and we raised over $35 million to date from investors. Mm -hmm. You can become an investor as well at invest.virtuix.com. You can own shares in Virtuix. And with that, you also get a discount on your very own Omni One of at least $500. And as an investor, you also get to order a unit, a system, ahead of the general public. You can get a system as early as this year, mm -hmm. uh, ahead of that 35,000 people wait list. So, yeah. so if, you, if anyone who's interested, go to invest.virtrix.com. That campaign is ending very soon. It ends on August 10. So this is, this is the last few weeks here of the campaign. Uh, so if you're interested, visit now and, uh, and invest in Virtuix and join our journey ahead. And what's the, you know, what's the total price uh, of everything? And, and that's what, both the headset and the entire treadmill? Yeah, right now the price of Omni One is 2595 That includes a treadmill and a Pico Neo 3 Pro uh, headset. So really everything you need to play is included in that price, uh, plus shipping additionally. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for filling us in.